what's up guys and welcome to my channel my name is cello the fashion fairy and if you're stopping by for the first time you are welcome please subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back so if you want to learn how i made this definitely keep watching see you in my tutorial hey so fairies and welcome to class so um, i've already gone ahead to prepare my fabric for this um you can see that i already put hair stay on the fabric and i also put um paper stay on the lining so this pattern has been previously dealt with in my channel and i'll be putting the link in the description box so um this is the skirt tutorial that i did and this is the front part so this part will be unfold So going in with my pins, I made sure I put the uh, paper on top of the fold and I used my pins to secure the pattern nicely. So for the back pattern, I'll be placing it about 4 inches away from the front pattern so that I'll be able to add um, the allowance, sewing allowances that I need for both the front and the back. So moving over to the front pattern, um, I already also have this tutorial on my channel. So I'm also going to be putting the link in the description box. So um, the only thing I did not do here was cut off the neckline. So I wanted to finish it up and then trace it. So I felt it would be easier for me. So make sure that while you are pinning, you pin away from the pattern so that you have enough um, space to add all the allowances that you need to both join and also to sew this down. So for the length of the skirt, I decided to add um, one and a half inches to it because I wanted it to be longer. This is not a standard, this is up to you. So I added two inches to the sides and this would be my sewing allowance um, for this project. So it means that I'll also be adding two inches to all the places that I need to add sewing allowances to. So if you follow this video guys, you will find out how I um. I added all the allowances that I needed. So going in with my scissors, I marked the notches. So the next thing I did was to put padding for the bust area. So I used wadding, also known as hard stay, for this point. And note that I put them um, after the sewing allowance so that it will be able to turn smoothly. So for the back as well, I put my um, joining allowances for the back and i just went ahead to join all these things even though um, i i hadn't ironed it at this point so just to show you that i already put in my darts for the lining for the skirt part and this is how i'll be joining it but i'll first of all go over to my ironing table and make sure everything is flat and i already did this and this is what we have so far um just going in with my tape to cross check and uh, you can see that everything is done beautifully so this is my lining piece and the fabric put together um, and i need to get my neckline out so what i did was to pin them against each other um, to find the middle part so i also pinned the middle part down 
and uh, I just placed the pattern on it like so to mark that point right there so while you're drafting your pattern make sure you draw out that line so it is easier for you to mark exactly what you need so marking it i'm going to be putting half inch leaving half inch on top for me to be able to turn the line in properly so this was what i had at the end of the day and then um, i'm just going to turn this and show you how it is so um if you're not very sure of how i turned all my linings please let me know in the comment section so that i will dedicate a video um, and show you how i did it so first of all i cut out half inch so i reduced the lining by 0 0.5 inches and i also did it for the back lining as well and this would enable me to turn the uh, material meanwhile the material i used for this is called the mask um, um it's quite popular these days and it's usually used for ashebi so um it's very very beautiful so for this strap um i'm going to be putting this on fold and then i'm going to be measuring um five inches for this um just because i want it a bit wide so that i can put the ruffles and they will sit pretty because the more space you have the more space you can um that you have to walk around with in order to add your ruffles the entire length i need for this um i needed nine and a half inches and i added one inch to this to make it ten and a half so i'll be cutting two of this i'm also going to be taking this to my machine and i'll be joining the two um the uh, selvage together and i'll be also be pressing it so i've already gone ahead to do this and this is what i have and i folded the part i joined to the middle to conceal it nicely So in order for us to fix this neatly, um, I just pinned the lining piece to the fabric. I have not, I have not um, turned it or sewn it in any way. So remember there's half inch on top here for joining the lining. So what I did was I made sure I pinned away from the half inch. So um, I went in with my um, pins and I secured this, went to my um, sewing machine and of course I joined it nicely. And then I turn the lining piece as well. You can see how the bust is. You can also see that the neck area is laying flat. So if yours is not laying flat like this, you need to iron it properly so that it doesn't gib at all. So um, this is the back piece. I already gonna I went ahead off camera, sorry, to add the line um, the zipper to the um, fabric, and I've also turned one side of it with lining. So I'm going to be putting the other side of the sleeve like so, placing right sides of the sleeve to the right side of the fabric. I'm going to be pinning this with my, of course, my pins. And remember what I said earlier, I'll be pinning half inch away from the edge. So that I'll be using the half inch to turn the lining of the back. And same goes for the other sleeve as well. Right sides to right sides, of course, and I pin them down like so. So you may want to run a stitch to hold that first before you turn it with your lining, which I already did like so. And I'll be going in with my, um, of course, with the lining piece, go to my sewing machine and I'll be turning this um, inside out. So this is what we have so far I already um, gone ahead to turn the lining piece you can see that there's a part that i have not sewn that, that was where i brought it out from and i'll also be sealing it much later you can see the inside how neat it is so we'll be going over to the sleeve and i'll show you how to achieve this so this is the organs i'm working with you can see uh, that i folded it multiple times just to be able to get um one uh, piece so I, I i used three yards of um, organza for this so i divided the width to get the middle and i also divided the length to get the middle so this was how i did the um, ruffles i i made a mark looking like nine 
and then i started measuring four inches because i needed to use four inches uh, of of length for the um organza so um i marked four inch all the way um around this and just follow the way i'm doing it guys and you will not get it wrong so i remember i said i used the whole three yards so i folded the three yards into multiple times to be able to get this So guys, this is the simplest way to make a flounce. Um, um, if you want to get it right, this is the way to do it. You can see that it's very full. We didn't waste a lot of uh, material while doing this. So um, it's going to make our sleeves very, very full. So in order to seal the edges, I used interlocking. Um, it's actually called baby lock on one side and I used the regular interlocking for the other side that will be on the sleeve. The baby lock is a bit tighter than the um, irregular interlocking that we do. So I went ahead to do this so that I won't have to turn this with lining. So I've already done one sleeve, even though I, I later added more to this because I wanted it to be more a bit fuller. So I already did one sleeve. So I'll just show you how I did it. Remember I said I left the sides open for a reason. This was because i wanted ease while attaching this on uh, with my with my um sewing machine so look at what i did guys i the edge of this i turned it facing myself so and um, as i went along with my sewing machine i i pleated it and i made sort of a circle with it even though this is not circle so i followed the rectangle there and I, I follow I'll, I'll just go over to my sewing machine to show you so this i've already attached part of it and this was how i attached it so going and pleating along my way i went in with my sewing machine to sew it down so you can see me pleating along the way as i'm sewing it so watch carefully guys and you will get it So guys, like I said earlier, if you feel it's not full enough, you can also always go in with your the flounce that is left and you can fill it, um, fill in the spaces that you feel that are scanty and this will give you a fuller look. This was what I did with the other sleeve that I felt was a bit scanty and I got, of course, I got a better look. So guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, why, why are you not following me? Please follow me cello the fashion fairy um i love you guys for always coming back to watch me i love your support and i couldn't have come this far without you So here's a picture of my client rocking this and she absolutely loved, loved this. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next tutorial. Bye.